What's going on, Golf Carts Modified? It's your boy Ryan here. So, I told you yesterday we were going to be dropping a very loaded question this week. Can you guess what it is? If you go on our page, it is probably the most heated discussion that we, we have. It's It happens all the time. I'm not going to say daily. Very close to daily. Can you guess what it is? Stick around and find out. It's going to oh, get bad. It's going to get so bad. Hey, man, cue the music. Bro, cue the music. Come on, man. Let's go. Dude, I got to do anything. You asked for it, now you're gonna get it. Question of the day. What is better, gas golf carts or electric golf carts? Ooh, it's gonna be a big one, man. Everybody hates on this subject. Gas is better, electric's better. Gas guys say, oh, when you run out of battery, I'll bring my rope and I'll tow you back. Electric guys, we got more torque. Ooh. Let's check it out. All right, gas or electric? I bet you didn't see this coming. There's no way y'all thought the second video I was gonna do was gonna be such a heated topic. This is brought up every day, which is better, gas or electric, and it normally leads to, it normally leads to a lot of people getting their feelings hurt. Some people are big electric golf cart people, and some people are big gas golf cart people. I can't really say I like either one more. Uh, I've been building a lot more electrics lately, just because we were told that we would never be able to take a golf cart with a tire taller than 25 inches and run over 20 miles an hour. They said, there's no way you'll do it. Well, we've built several carts on 38 inch tall tires and they still run 29 to 30 miles an hour. Uh, Travis has a big golf cart on 40s. I don't remember exactly how fast he said it ran. I know it was faster than 20 miles an hour. So that was kind of our reasoning why we got such big in electrical stuff is because people said, oh, you can't do this with it and you can't do that. And apparently that means something to us trying to do what people say can't be done. Does that mean I think electric is better than gas? No. So I wanted to pull something up. I caught this, I was researching for this and I came across a bunch of cool information, especially on golf carts in general, especially on this topic. So I'm gonna open up my phone and if you Google what is better, gas golf cart or electric golf cart, this is one of the very first things you will see. Power, gas golf carts typically have about three times the horsepower of an electric golf cart. Thus, they perform better in rough terrain, on steep hills, and in off-road conditions. Okay, that might have been the case several years ago before they really started to improve on motors and controllers. And now with the lithium battery packs coming out, I, you know, I just, that's an argument that's just gonna always be there. I mean, the Navitas AC kit, set up right even on lead acid batteries, you know, I can get, with the 23 inch tire, I, you know, you can get over 20 miles to a charge, or at least we have so far. Uh, the big war machine on 38 inch all tires, I was getting 17 to 18 miles range out of that. Yeah, power? I've seen Corey walk up a flight of stairs on the golf cart. He had a cart, I can't remember if it was on 35s or 38s, but he literally drove up a flight of stairs with an electric setup. So, you know, it's kind of hard to determine which is which. At the end of it, 
it's still kind of a matter of preference. So this also says gas golf carts can run longer on a single tank of gas than electric golf carts can run on a single charge. Yeah, I'm gonna agree with that one. That's, I mean, come on. Electric is, you're pretty much scavenging everything as you're using it. You're charging a battery pack and draining a battery pack. The more stuff you do to a custom golf cart, the more you're gonna drain. It's a parasitic loss. You know, bigger tires, wider tires, you're lifting it, you're losing aerodynamics, windshields lose aerodynamics. So you're pretty much, you know, you're creating your own worst enemy. But that's why we have big 600 amp controllers and that's why we have new motors. I mean, that's, that's kind of the fun part of it. That's why it's called golf carts modified and not golf carts. You know. So is there really a better one? I guess if you really went on it and you looked at paper, people would probably tend to say gas is better. Anyway, if you really think about it, okay, let's, let's be completely honest. If you go camping nowadays, you know, you're either going to be told electric only because they don't want gasoline there and they don't want to smell it and they don't want to hear it. Or they're gonna tell you they would rather you run gasoline because they really don't want you pulling off their electricity. It's, it just depends on where you're at. So. Guys, if you were looking for a definite answer, yes or no, gas is better, yes or no, electric's better, there is not an answer. It is a total matter of preference. It is what you like. It is what you like to work on. It is what you like to drive. As far as, you know, which one's better because they take less maintenance, you know, they, you could really look at that both ways. A electric golf cart has less moving parts because there's less to maintain. But yes, you do have to replace batteries about every five to six years typically. If you don't take care of them, it might be shorter. And you might get longer run time out of them. Gas, you know, nowadays you can buy engines anywhere from, uh, everything starts dinging when I'm videoing. You ever notice that? You can get an engine anywhere from $700 up to $2,500 for a golf cart. Guys, at the end of the day, it's a very heated topic. There is no right or wrong answer. It is what you like. It, build what you want to build. If you want to, if you want a sweet electric cart, build a sweet electric cart. If you want a friggin' nasty gas motor that just rips and makes all kinds of power and noise and runs 40, 50 miles an hour, get after it. I'm, I'm building my daughter an electric cart. Hers is running 35 miles an hour right now, which is scooting on a golf cart. I'm going to build a big gas golf cart, mainly because everybody kind of busted my balls about it and told me that we hadn't built one. So now I gotta now I have to build one just to prove everybody wrong again. I make life hard sometimes, but hey, that's what we do. That's what we're here for. So guys, I hope you liked the video. I know it's probably not exactly what you, there goes the bell again. There goes the phone again. I gotta put everything on mute when I do this. So if you like this video, like and subscribe, hit the bell, check us out on Facebook, check us out on Instagram. Guys, I hope you all have a great week. Make sure to tune in for tomorrow's question of the day. And as... What am I going to do, man? It's blowing up. Go modify.